Hey everybody, good afternoon, Rose Thorne here. Today I am doing a react video to Foodie Beauty's live stream that she did last night called Keep Singing While I'm Itching. So she was on this live stream last night real late. I was already tired from doing like three reacts that day. And I just thought, you know, I'll just let her go and do her thing and I'll just cover it the next day. So here I am, and I've scanned through this live stream, which was almost four hours long. And I'm going to be honest with you, there's really not a whole lot of anything new to talk about. It's just the same old stuff. Uh, but I wanted to scan through this and jump around a lot and catch all the bit that, uh, man, my tongue is just not working today. Doggone it. <laughs> I swear I'm not on anything. I'm just so tired from last night. But, you know, we're, we're all in this together, and we'll get through it together. But uh, I want to sit in and react to this bad boy. Uh, before we get started, let's get to the comments section because the comments section is always entertaining, sometimes more so than the actual video. Summer Flower says, the irony of her calling him a narcissist and Dee Dee desperate is just off the charts. This coming from a woman who sits online 10 hours a day to talk about herself and has run back to an abuser for eight months. And by the way, I know this as sure as I'm sitting here. If Dee Dee wasn't there last night, she would have gone there after making P his dinner. Yes, she would have. She would have been over there last night if, uh, if Dee Dee had not been there. But I want to throw this out there to everybody. Okay. For those who did not watch my last React video, I just want to throw this out there from where I'm standing and from what I'm noticing. I've said before that a lot of things that happen on Chantal's channel and Natter's channel, it's all planned. And isn't it funny, isn't it odd that Chantal went on this trip to do the collab with Carly and before she came back home, she gave Natter $250. She admitted that. Natter then took that money that Chantal gave him and used it to buy Dee Dee an Uber to his house. Then when Chantal came back home, you know, isn't it also funny that Natter has plenty of groceries over at his place and then she went to the store and stocked up big time on groceries for her place. Following that, there was a phone call from a doctor telling her, oh, you might have the vid. You might want to uh, isolate for five days. But isn't it funny that before this phone call from the quote unquote doctor, Natter's pantry is stocked, her pantry is stocked, almost as if she were planning this, don't you think? Almost as if she planned the whole doggone thing. And I think she did. You know, I, I this phone call from the doctor, we don't know if she actually spoke to a doctor. It could have been anybody for all we know. It could have been Natter calling uh, to play his part in this drama and just get it all set up. That's how it looks to me. It just looks weird that Chantal, who really doesn't cook very much, she likes takeaway food. She likes to do the Uber Eats and stuff. Suddenly she's stocking up her pantry and her fridge and her freezer with all kinds of food, like she plans on being there for days. But then she gets a phone call telling her she needs to isolate. Hmm. And Natter's pantry is also stocked. I wonder who bought those groceries. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it looks weird, doesn't it? Yeah, put the pieces together. I mean, and you can see the full picture of that puzzle. Ada C says, woke up, going to have a smoke break, then pass back out. If that isn't a need for help. What if a feeling like, yeah, her, her life, there's, she had, her life has no meaning, no purpose. She just drifts from one impulse to the other. Uh, CFF says, guys, after giving him $250 yesterday, she's done with Natter and won't be giving him anything ever again. The first 764 times she said it, she wasn't done, but she's definitely in this time. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. And I don't think I'm going to see it, so I'm not believing it. Tina Valentina says, Natter didn't go to Windsor, not because Chantal refused, but he rejected her. 
Knowing Didi was coming and he knew they would just sit around doing nothing but bees. He keeps rejecting her. That is the only reason she's at home. Uh, you know, I think Chantal really did not want Natter to go because she did not want him around uh, Carly in any capacity. But I can see Natter's point of view as well. I mean, who in the crap wants to be stuck in a car with Chantal for eight to nine hours on a trip, going there and coming back? And who wants to be stuck in a hotel room with Chantal all night long when she's not that person that she's not going to go somewhere and go out and see the sights and do things? She just wants to sit in the room, eat, be bored, smoke out, get drunk, whatever. I mean, if he had gone, I promise you there would have been a fight somewhere either in the car ride the way there, on the car ride the way back, or even in the room. It would have been disastrous. Maybe it was a good thing he did not go. Uh, although she's not happy with him now being with Dee Dee, you know, the fact that he didn't go probably prevented a really big fight between them. Let's see. Laura H. says, so did Natter actually ban Chantal from his house again? Or did Chantal know better than to turn up on his doorstep when Dee Dee's there after all the crap she's talked? Because from what I'm gathering, nothing bad happened between them for her to be upset and her not over there. She even said that she didn't care if Dee Dee visits again because he gave the, and, and it cuts off, the, the comment cuts off. You know, I don't know what happened. That, that's the thing. They didn't have a big blowout fight. But we all know that by watching Natter's stream that he's got a broken window for some reason. And it's odd that Dee Dee's over there and she's got bruises all over her arms. So something, something weird is going on there. Something very, very weird and disturbing. Nobody's sure about what it is. Uh, I'm pooping right now. It says, imagine calling someone else desperate and pathetic after admitting you have throat gonorrhea from the same guy twice. Yeah, she's got funny boundaries, our Chantal. Spanish Luscious says, all that tough talk about how you're over Natter, all the while his phone currently remains active. Sure, Jan. Yeah, she could cut off his phone. She could be a boss bitch and cut off his phone and, and cancel that channel. She could do a lot of things. She could not buy his groceries and turn her back completely, but she won't. She's just that desperate. You know, and... It, it just blows my mind that all the VIBs that are over there, they're not getting it through their freaking heads. This is never going to end. This whole thing with Natter is not going to end. Everybody just trying to carry a torch for Chantal and wait for him to be gone. You're so desperate to see that happy ending to her fairy tale. I'm so sorry. That's not going to happen. Y'all need to wake up to that right now. Miss Anthrope says, I'm in Canada here, Ottawa also, and I can tell you with 1,000 truth that there is not a chance in hell that any doctor from a clinic called her. They are simply not allowed by law to give any advice or diagnosis without actually seeing the patient. Just more lies. There's no end to them. If she's talking, she's lying. Yeah, I agree with you, Miss Anthrope. I agree with you. How in the world could a medical professional give a diagnosis to a patient without running tests and without actually physically seeing them. How could they do that? How could they do that? You know, Chantal will get on, you know, get on the phone with a doctor and say, I'm itchy down below and, and it burns with IP and I've got a sore throat. How in the world is a doctor supposed to know what's going on with her without looking at her, without taking swabs and blood tests? I mean, she could have anything. She could have uh, as far as the itchy vag, a yeast infection for anybody knows. She could have a bacterial infection. As far as her throat, that could be strep throat. That could be thrush. That could be so. It, how do you know without a test? No doctor is going to sit there and give that information up over the phone without seeing somebody. How do how do how's the doctor supposed to know? How are they supposed to know? You know, like I said, this whole thing feels planned. It feels really, really, really planned. She went to go see Carly, did the collab. Be after the collab, on the way home, before she did that, she sent Natter money. She sent him $250, probably exactly the cost to cover an Uber. 
So maybe it was set up for her to pay for the Uber. She gave Natter the money. He used it to buy Didi her Uber. And Didi's there right now to add her layer to the drama yet again. Chantal got home. And what did she do? She ran around and got plenty of groceries to stock up her fridge and her freezer and her pantry. And then just conveniently, the doctor calls after she does that and says, you have to self-isolate for five days. Huh. So like the, the buying of the groceries, it almost seems like she was preparing for that phone call. Preparing for what the doctor was going to say before she actually knew it. I don't think it was the doctor at all. I think it was somebody, Nat or maybe making the phone call just so she can get back on the phone and saying, oh, I got my test results. Yeah, planned scripted shit right here. Uh, Blondie Blue says the only reason he keeps calling is because he wants money and you give it to him. You accuse Didi of protecting Natter, but you do the same thing. Yes, yeah, she does all the time. She's like, I don't want him to be stuck. He's a grown man. He's not going to be stuck. He, he can go get his own doggone food. Let's see. Everybody's saying it's a rerun. Lisa CIA hole <laughs> says, sure. Hope some of these paying members of this trading record channel stop paying her. You people enable her to continue to scam, lie, and do all these deeds for him when you're not looking. And then comes on for hours, days to play the poor me victim. Just get more ass pats and donuts. And that's exactly why she behaves like this. It's very profitable for her. It's very profitable. And she's not using the money that people give her for, for good means. She wastes it. She wastes the money. You know, buying junk food, Starbucks, buying his, you know, food for him, his rent, his bills, whatever he wants, new track suits. You know, it, it, it's up to the VIBs to decide how they spend their money. It's, it's, it's your decision, VIBs. But honestly, as a person, if you got any morals and values, you need to think about what the heck you're supporting. Like, you know, do you want her? You are actively funding her to continue to hurt herself and be destructive of herself. You're funding that. You are keeping it going. And the more money you give her, the more you're going to speed it up. And see. All right. So there's all these comments about Dee. Dee. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on the comments. I just want to get on with the video because I don't know how long it's going to be. But hope you guys enjoy this React video. And if you do, please like it, subscribe, and leave a comment. You guys know I love seeing those. So let's get to, let's get to, and I'm going to tell you right now, I need, I got to jump around with this bad boy. Three hours and 49 minutes, I ain't got time for all that. Neither do you. And honestly... As I said, there's not a whole lot of interesting footage here, so I got to jump around. So let's get to this thing right now. Uh, sorry, I'm just picturing. Anyways, the more I hate him, the more he looks like Butthead, so. <laughs> uh, okay, let's smoke something. Girl, you already look high. You don't need to smoke anything. Liliana, I usually do like get PJs on and stuff. I just like passed out. I was watching something and I fell asleep. And then I woke up. <sighs> He really does go from the side to head. <laughs> and all the coughing, I do not miss that. And the smoke, the tobacco smoke. 
I should go find a blonde like Amber Rose or Susan Powder. I haven't seen a specialist yet about the hair log, no. There's no chain smoking. I know. Inside. Inside. Like I smoke weed, but it's not as gross for some reason, I find. It doesn't stick to everything the same way. At least not in my house. I don't know. Over there, yeah. <clears throat> it's 2022. <laughs> It's not coming back. Cigarettes are worse from stress. Yeah, purple mermaid. Well, I think it's hormonal for me. You know, I I'm not a doctor, Chantal, but I believe your hair loss. Your, it could be a number of things. It could be genetics, true. It could be because of hormones, also true. Because you've not been taking your hormones like you should. And it could also be because of your really awful diet for the past few years. When you started your YouTube channel, your hair was fine. And within a matter of a few years, you lost quite a bit of it. But rather than go to a doctor and find out exactly why and see what you can do about it, you'd rather shave it all off because you're just that lazy. I look tired. Cigarettes are the worst. <laughs> Why do people care so much about art? I mean, <laughs> she's so easily amused. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pine tea burgers. Did you drink from what cup? Good. Not good shit. Hi, Artisha. But blow up the whole building. Sam's smell smelling like beard. Yo, I don't know what's going on with her throat, but she sounds worse than she did yesterday. Chantal, you need to go get checked out by somebody. For real, you need to go get checked out by somebody. Because you sound worse than you did yesterday. You sound a lot worse. Wait, she has a sore throat too? Did you say she has a sore throat? She's been sucking his dick. You don't know that. Sore throat could be just irritation and, you know, maybe having a normal common cold. You don't know that. Don't sit there and point your finger at somebody. You got three more pointing back at you. You can't make a diagnosis about what's wrong with Dee Dee the same way that a doctor can't diagnose you on the phone. <coughs> Jennifer Cargill said she saw you veer off the 401. Straight to Gatineau on Sunday, and she watched you buy him smoke. <laughs> she wouldn't be able to associate with matter at all. Yeah, I don't think anyone in the FBI would. She met Ashley. Yeah, his ashtray full of butts and boogers. Keeps on giving. There's no Ashley. He's full of shit. I was there the whole time. <coughs> like an idiot that I am. DD is FBI. How vicious international. <laughs> Did 
Yeah, this is funny. I was in FFD's chat and Chantal was saying yesterday that she might have the vid and she might have the gonorrhea. So now everybody's calling it the gonorona <laughs> or the hovid. <laughs> it's funny. She's self-diagnosing herself with different things. And so she's got the gonorrhea, y'all. Early 60s. I don't know. Go to Rona. <laughs> <coughs> I'm done making excuses at all for him, period. Never again. Fuck that. Dee Dee really has a job like working. She can work from home over because of COVID. So she comes to the rescue for Nada. Nada can't have friends. Okay, I want to address this comment. Accountable Beauty says Dee Dee's Uber cost her around two hundred and fifty dollars, but Nada covered it with his YouTube money. Can I just point something out to everybody real quick? Everybody keeps saying, why does Natter have to keep coming to Chantal to buy his groceries? When he's got a YouTube channel and therefore he should have money. Here's the logical answer. Because he may have the channel under his name, but it's under Chantal's Google AdSense account because those are separate. For those who are not YouTubers, there's YouTube, uh, which is the website, and then there's the actual company that all of the revenue that your videos earn, that revenue goes through Google AdSense. You know, they're two separate entities. They both work with each other. But YouTube is the website where people watch your videos, and Google AdSense is where you set up a Google AdSense account, you attach it to your YouTube channel, and that's where all the money goes. So even though Natter changed the passwords on his YouTube account, the Google AdSense account where the money actually arrives is under Chantal's name. So he's not actually getting the money, it's Chantal. Hence why. He has to go to Chantal and say, I need money, I need money, give me money, buy me groceries, this, that, and the other thing. It's under her Google AdSense account. You know, she's not stupid. She's the sugar mama. He's the sugar baby. She knows deep down that he's around just for the money. So does anybody out there think that if she knows that, if she's got a clue about that, she's going to let natter earn his own money without her because if he did he would have no use for her if he were earning thousands of dollars a month without her he would not need her he would kick her to the curb entirely she's not dumb she's not going to let that happen so she set up a youtube account for him but she put it under her google adsense account and that's why he got monetized so quickly because it was under her name and she's already verified. Hence why he's got to go to her for the money all the time. He depends on her and she likes it that way. Same thing for Pete's too. Pete's has got a YouTube account. Why does he have to keep going to Chantal for money? Why has he got to depend on her? Why did he have to go to her to get a laptop? And laptops aren't that expensive, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Why do the men in Chantal's life have to keep coming to her for money? Answer, because she controls the money. That's why. I don't know, ask matter. I'm not allowed to have friends, so. I'm not allowed to have friends. <coughs> Dee Dee works for the DMV. Tinder Swindler wannabe.
fill the cleaning business? Another thing that just popped into my head. So Natter called Chantal, or they talked, and she sent him $250. Why would Chantal send him money? Because I would think that Chantal would just say, well, you know, just wait until I get home. I promise I'll buy you groceries and go grocery shopping for him because then she could have gone to his house and spent some time. She knows how much Dee Dee's Uber costs. She knows. She had to know what that money was for. I think she had prior knowledge that that money was going to be used for Dee Dee's Uber. And she was all for it because, as I mentioned before, I believe that Dee Dee, despite all appearances, she's a paid for player in this game. She's getting compensated for her time spent. She's getting compensated for being part of this story. Yes, she is. And to support what I'm saying, I want everybody to realize this. Chantal does not like Didi, but yet she has a block Didi off of her channel. Didi has come on to Chantal's chat multiple times and Chantal hasn't blocked her yet. Probably a cleaning business that gives happy ending. <laughs> Different yeah, I saw the live last night. Girlfriend had bruises all over her arms. Sparky, you want to co-host? You got something to say about Chantal's son? <laughs> but she had bruises all over her arms, and I noticed she was wearing a long-sleeved blouse. And, you know... I'm not trying to bring my situation into this, but it's just something that I've been through and I used to do. When I was involved in a DV relationship, that's something that I did. Like I was involved with someone that bruised my arms all up and down. And to hide that, I would wear jackets and long sleeve shirts. And for whatever reason, Dee's arms were all kinds of bruised, coupled with the fact that there's a broken window. Things don't look right over there. So yeah, saw that, noticed that. She's probably been there for a few days already now, which he fucking lied. Lying piece of crap. So that means when he called me to ask me for money, Dee Dee was probably coming that day on her way down on the fucking Uber bus. And he had, he's like, oh, I need, probably, I need money to buy mango so I can make mango chunk skin fucking drink. Mango skin drink. I know. He made it sound like I'm crazy. Is Didi there? Is Didi coming? What? <clears throat> and she was the whole time. She doesn't drive, Morticia. None of these fucking bums drive. Not that you're, you're a bum if you don't drive. I mean, whatever. But... And again, that's something that you enjoy, Chantal. I, I don't think it's any coincidence that every single person that's around you, they don't have a job. They don't have money that you have chosen to financially support them. They don't drive. I mean, you look for people that are not independent just so you can use your money to control them. I don't think that's a coincidence at all because there's more than one person like that around you. Pete could drive, but he doesn't. And he lives in that house and you pay for everything. Natter, you pay for everything over there. He doesn't really have a car. You know, you're picking these situations and you are preying on them willfully, eagerly, and knowingly. <clears throat> I mean, even Dee Dee doesn't have a car. What's up with that? What is it with this? Everybody around you that's part of this story doesn't have a car. What's going on with that? 
You think she gets some money or just PJs? Um, I don't know. She lent her. Apparently, she lent him money and he asked me for money to pay her back. I don't think I'm supposed to say that. I don't care. And you know what you could have done, Chantal? You could have looked at him and said, oh, so you borrowed money from her and you got to pay her back? Well, that's your problem, not my problem. Why is it my problem? You chose to do this. Why is it my problem? Why is it my issue? And refuse to pay. This is the Lord. Damn. You idiot. Let's go roll one. I know. I know. Put them down, Loliana. Mango skin drink, and I had to rush over. No, he didn't pay her back the money. <laughs> That's okay, Liliana. I'll take the hit for now. Miss Four, he says, doesn't he make money off YouTube now? Why in the hell is he always asking you for money for his issues? I already explained that. I already explained that. Well, let's go over it one more time. YouTube is a website where you make your videos. If you're a YouTuber, you monetize your channel. Once you reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you can apply to be part of the YouTube Partner Program, meaning you can monetize your channel through Google AdSense. Google AdSense is a separate entity. Once you reach the requirements, you have to set up a Google AdSense account which takes time it takes a minimum of four to six weeks you apply for it you wait to be approved then you have to wait a significant amount of time to get a code in the mail which they mail to you then once you get it you've got to put the code in and that activates it and then even after you activate your google adsense account it takes at least a couple of months to get your first paycheck and that's only if you make a minimum of $100 on your account. And Nader got monetized really, really fast. And how did he do that? Because the Google AdSense account is under Chantal's name, which means it goes directly to her bank account. I'm not sure if he has a bank account. I'm not sure if he has it. But the money is going to her. It's going to her pocket. And he has to wait for her to give him money. She's not an idiot. She's not going to allow him to make money without her. Because if he could, that means he doesn't need her for anything. That's his main attraction to Chantal. Is the fact that he's getting money from her. She's not going to allow him to make any kind of money without her. Because then he can just go, hey, I got what I need. Go away, Chantal. Same thing with Pete's. He's got a YouTube channel, right? He's got a YouTube channel. If he had his own Google AdSense account, why did he go to Chantal to buy him a new laptop, to buy him a new computer? Why couldn't he buy it himself? Answer, because it's under her name. The Google AdSense account is under her name, her bank account, whole thing set up. She's controlling it all. Miss Chantal has a monopoly going on over there where her bank account is linked to all three accounts. And so the men in her life have to come to her to get the money that's earned through those YouTube accounts. I didn't buy him groceries. I gave him, I sent him money, that's it. I haven't, I didn't go to the grocery store and buy him groceries. I did a huge haul out of Darnest, three, almost 400 bucks tonight. It's all in my fridge. And I checked, Chantal, the amount of time between the one live you did and the next live you did was three hours. Honey, you can do a lot in three hours. If you weren't going to a doctor's office and getting a doctor's appointment, that's a long time between one live stream and the next live stream. That's plenty of time to go get groceries for yourself, 
go get groceries for Natter, stack up his pantry. You can do a lot in three hours. So don't act like you didn't have time to go over there and stock his house up. We know you did. If he's over there asking you for money for 250 bucks, that means he's broke. And if he's got food in the house, we know who bought it. Hi, Dixie. What am I doing with all the lingerie? <coughs> Only fans, pictures. For real. Oh, and this is like a side issue. Maybe it's not important. So when Chantal did her live stream yesterday, there's a part that I skipped over by mistake, something that I forgot. During that live stream, there was a clear shot of the stuff that she took uh, on the trip with her on the floor near the stairs and you saw a clear shot of those new wigs on the floor just laying on the floor like that so 800 and something dollars worth of wigs already ruined they're laying on the floor now well we knew that was going to happen we knew despite the fact that she's got wig stands and even if she didn't she could put those wigs in a drawer somewhere and keep them safe those wigs are already trashed Taylor Swindler was a documentary about my life. You ever find it funny how things come out at a certain time when they do for a reason? Like, <sighs> if those eggplants make an appearance out of the house in a few days, I'm not going to let any down. I'm not going to let anybody. I'm not going to let myself down. AMC. <clears throat> He has his own YouTube money. I don't know how, I mean, I don't know. I don't have, honest to God, I don't have access to his account anymore since he changed his password, so. She's a liar. She's a liar. Just because you change the password on your YouTube account doesn't mean she doesn't have access to the Google AdSense account. And that's the one that matters when it comes to money. It's not YouTube that sends you your money. It's Google AdSense. And Google AdSense they don't send a paper check when they pay you, by the way. They send it to your bank account. You get your bank account hooked to your Google AdSense account. We YouTubers, we get paid once a month from YouTube. It's always on the 21st or the 22nd, depending on how they want to do it. But it's probably under her Google AdSense account, her bank account. The drinks always look like a poor man's birthday. I didn't know at the time, Lauren, like, my throat didn't really, like, it wasn't hurting, like, really, like, you know, at the time. So, it really only started hurting, like, it was after I got sick. So, I was wondering if it was from that. But, no, I remember the last time I had this, I had some symptoms down there. <clears throat> What's that got to do with your throat, though? What's the symptoms in your JJ got to do with your throat? People were saying that before you even left to go on the trip, you were drinking cranberry juice. And anybody that knows anything about UTIs, yeah, you know, you got a UTI problem, you're drinking cranberry juice because that does help a little bit. But what's of a JJ got to do with your throat, Chantal? When I watched that documentary, the dude had no emotions, and then we get super angry. Yeah, like whatever the mask fell off. Hi, that chubby. I, I can't tell you how happy, like, I was, like, I woke up from my nap, and... Sam was sleeping on my bed and he got up, walked over to me, and we were just cuddling. I took a picture of it. He was just like cuddling with me, like seriously chilling. Aren't you a good boy? Yeah. Oh, he's my handsome man. He's, he's the only man I need in my life. Um, no, Hartisha, that didn't scare me because of the way he explained what happened. And I believed him. <clears throat> Angel Wings, I think her video collab with us comes out Thursday. On their mukbang channel, I put the description in, the link in the description. I know, but because I have to isolate, so what I have to do is isolate for 
You know that Carly's pissed off right now because she met up with Chantal, did a collab with her, did a mukbang collab, did an OnlyFans, and then Chantal pulls this shit. Um, now I'm sick. I did the collab with you and you put up with me for a day. And now I'm telling everybody I'm sick, maybe with the vid, maybe with the Gano. And that's going to ruin both the OnlyFans and the stuff on YouTube. There's going to be so many awful comments on that video. I'm sure Carly is pissed right now. Pissed. Carly, listen. You knew you had to get yourself into with Chantal. You've been watching her long enough. You ain't brand new. You're not. But there are viewers and get some of their views. But there's a price to be paid for dealing with Chantal. You should have known that price before you jumped in that water. But you exposed yourself to Chantal and her being sick, her acting inappropriately. You exposed yourself to that, sweetheart. Uh, and who knows what's going to happen with the OnlyFans now or that video you did of the monk bong. Uh, I hope it was worth it for you. But if I were you, I'd be going straight to the doctor. For real. No, no, no joke. For five days. Go back to that clinic after and get them to swab me, you know, to make sure. But I have to do like a vag swab. So I gotta prep my fupa. Oh, yeah. You don't serve time for self defense. No. He's saying it was that. I don't think the law right here. I think the lawyer saying fuck him over. I don't know. <laughs> For this, uh, at this point, I can't believe a single thing that comes out of his mouth. Like, he even lies about Dee Dee being there. Like, he's so vague. Like, what? I didn't, like, ugh. He, he drives, he literally. You know, here's something that I find very suspicious with Chantal. She's complaining about her throat, right? Been complaining for the last two days. And yet she has no problem doing a live stream for almost four hours, just talking, talking, talking. Anybody out there ever have a sore throat? Your throat bothers you? Then you know, as well as I do, that when your throat feels awful, the last thing you want to do is talk. But she had no problem here drives me literally insane like i bet you that's why Dee, Dee looks like that she he's going to sorry i know i'm gross he's literally going to hold on to drain her of all her energy um for hummus. I know. Tell everyone tell him to go away. <laughs> Thanks. Love God is <laughs> drive thirty minutes for hummus. me. I should have learned what they are going doing is cool. They're all female. Thank you. Uh, some more. I gotta wash my wig. No, I'm not ever going there again. I guess not. I don't give a fuck if they're in bed together. I, I don't care. I really don't. <clears throat> Excuse me? Is that really him? Check E.G. So there's a person in the chat calling themselves Natter El Shammy. 
I don't know if it's really him. I wish that YouTube would come up with a system to where actual YouTube channels could be verified, maybe a symbol beside their name so that everybody would know who is the real deal and what's a troll account. But yeah, allegedly Natter entered her chat and was saying that Dee Dee is a real woman. The deal? Are you trying to get me to give you money? Fuck you. Hmm. <clears throat> and I just think it's weird. It's really weird if if. Dee Dee and Natter are together at his house right now. I just think it's fucking weird that he's over in Chantal's chat saying stuff, if that's really him. I also think it's weird that he's sitting there obsessively watching her live stream. Dude, you got a woman in the house. Pay attention to her. Why are you even dealing with Chantal? Why are you even dealing with Chantal? You don't have to be all up in her chat. You don't have to sit there and obsessively watch her videos. The only thing that makes sense to me is if this whole thing is planned and scripted to a point and he's got to watch what she says to know what to say on his live stream later. Mm, don't even go there really on that now. Elle says, can we get a new storyline, please? Trust me. I, I would love that. All the reactors would love it. This storyline between Natter and Dee Dee and Chantal so played out. We're so tired of it. I, I would do anything for this book to be put back on the shelf and, and take down a new one. Can we get a new storyline? Yes, thank you. Why? Because it's boring. That's why it's played out. It's so boring that now you're trying to recycle parts of an old story and bring it back. The whole Gano thing, the STD thing, girl, been there, covered that. It was boring and toxic the first time. It's the same this time. It's, it's not nothing new. That's why. Move it along. Talk about something new. What storyline are we going to do? See? She's even she even admitted it's a storyline. Oh, well, what storyline do you want to do? Anything but this? Anything but this, please. The STD thing, we don't even care. I'm kidding. Oh, of course. I don't want to freaking keep talking about the same shit all the time. What then... you do, though? And we're tired of it. We're so tired. <coughs> so what are you guys doing today? Uh, that's a quarantine. Move to Orlando. Move to Orlando with you? You would be there by now. Yep. I look like the clown from Spawn. I've never seen that movie. Thanks, Raven. Peace. You hear that? Listen. Do you hear any popping? Don't hear any popping. <coughs> Push it. This is the noise that keeps me awake. My head explodes and my body aches. Push it. 
You know, like in the thigh between the. Yeah, there we go. You got tool, Rachel. God, get with the program. What breath, Sandra? I never said he had bad breath, because he didn't. I wouldn't be with a guy that has bad breath. <clears throat> so Natter smokes all the time. Are you telling me that his breath smells really good? <laughs> this is the noise that keeps me wet. <clears throat> Oh well. Wow. This is the night. The first things first, we have tomatoes. Make a list of flaws. Yeah. That's an understatement. Hi, Colleen. Let's do makeup. Kibby and bitch. <laughs> Kibble and bitch and bitch and bitch. Kibble and bitch and bitch. <laughs> amount of weight on it. I know it's empty. I collect my eye cream palms in a little pin. I have to sleep here. I have to go back to bed. Get up the roof. <laughs> Honestly, honestly. Oh. Mm. I feel story time is brewing. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. How can she sleep if he sits next to her smoking like a chimney? I'm so fuck. I will not miss that. I will not fucking miss that. What kind of like what kind of fucked up friendship is this? And he has the nerve. He has the fucking nerve. He's hacking, imagine. Like, ugh. Honestly, I need to put as my screenshot him, the picture someone sent of him going, ugh. I never fucking go back. <clears throat> he has the fucking nerve. You live with peace. And I'm sure your throat clearing is just as irritating. The, the constant, <clears throat> Good Lord. You know how annoying that is? And then to make fun of Pete, like, who are you making fun of? Have you seen yourself? Have you seen yourself? And I can tell you for certainty, Mr. Stupid Douchebag, that Pete has never screamed in my fucking face or flicked a cigarette at me. So he. Okay, so you're sitting there pointing out all these wonderful attributes that Pete has. So, big question, Chantal. Why is it that you are so stuck on Natter and not Pete's? And you're right, Pete's has never hurt you the way that Natter has hurt you and keeps hurting you. Pete's has never called you names and degraded you, but yet who are you stuck on? Who are you giving money to? I don't see you giving tremendous amounts of money to Pete's for being a nice guy, but I do see you giving all kinds of money to Natter for being a complete asshole. So make it make sense. You're rewarding the asshole and not the nice guy. He wins over you every day of the week. So have several seats. You, I, need, you need to have the biggest one. 
Take the whole stadium if you need it. You've had two men in your life that were decent to you, and you cheated on both of them, and you basically ruined Pete's life to the point where he's a broken man, and he's up in his room, and he's no better off being with you now than he was when he first moved in with you. He's not a happier person. He's not a healthier person. He's not a more independent person with a job and money. He's broken. You broke that man. You broke him. You absolutely broke him. And you know that, and you don't care. Pete was a good man. You guys were engaged. How did you treat him? You cheated on him. Bibi was a decent, hardworking man. How did you treat him? You cheated on him. But it's this natter person that you're all over, and you're, you said, I'm addicted to him. So you're addicted to assholes, obviously. That's your thing. I, I'm, I'm, I have an addiction to assholes. <laughs> okay. And you need to be humble. You need to eat some fucking humble fatu salad. And you know what? So are you. You need to be humble too, Chantal. You're over there on your little high horse. Although you're not that far up off the ground because you can drop at any time. If YouTube demonetized you completely, you would be dropped to the ground instantly. Because that's all you got going on for yourself is your YouTube channel and the money you make. Without it, you would be in dire straits, ma'am. Oh, and forty to sixty thousand dollars in back taxes, and you spend money as fast as you make it. You've got nothing at all in savings, no investments. You don't even own part of a business. You've got a car that's on its last leg, and you're still making payments on it. On that damaged car, you don't own your own car. You don't own your own home. You don't own anything of significance. Your credit is in the toilet. You're just counting on YouTube way too much. You're 37 years old. You're very close to 40 and you've got nothing significant around you that you could count on if something happened to you. You don't even have money in the bank for any kind of medical emergencies. And God knows you should have money in the bank because you put your body through hell. Anything can pop off at any time with the drinking, and the, the smoking, all the sugary foods, your diabetes that's out of control, the weight that's out of control, anything could happen at any time. Big question for you. If something happened to you, God forbid, and you were in the hospital for about a month, who's going to take care of things? Not Pete. He doesn't have any money. How are the bills going to get paid? How are the groceries going to get bought? You don't count on that or he's not going to come forward and help you. He will leave you high and dry. But you're arrogant to the people that are your VIBs. They're giving you the money for this lifestyle. You're not thankful for them at all. And YouTube is a rug that you're standing on that anytime it can get pulled out from under you. Okay. You need some humble fatouche. Something. This is ridiculous. Yeah, Jesus put your And his head is perfect. It's the people around him who are wrong. Exactly. But yeah, I'm totally. Um... <laughs> They're all fucking thirsty, broads. <clears throat> I'm never. I'm not ever settling ever again. Like. I think this has taught me. Yeah, I know the red flags now. More red flags now. Oh, jeez. And also, next person I to get in a relationship with will have to be like, I'm not settling for first person. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. that you're not going to settle because anybody who settles on anything is never, ever happy. If it's not someone or something you completely want, you are settling and you're never going to be happy with it. You're always going to be unsettled that you didn't make the best choice. But at the same time, Chantal, I'm going to throw this ball back into your court. What exactly would you be offering a person of quality and value? What are you coming to the table with? What are you offering? Something besides your YouTube money. Can you name something? 
are you a person that you keep a clean home and you take care of yourself and your pets and you've got things going on for yourself? You got things you can talk about with other people that you're proud of? No, no. You got a very bad public image. And that's something a lot of decent people would stay away from. They don't want to associate with that. They don't want to associate with that. If you ever hope to have a decent person in your life, you need to start working on yourself and cleaning that image that you created all this time completely up because that's going to shoot you in the foot at each and every time. You've got nothing to bring to the table to offer someone to entice them to be with you. Nothing at all. And so the only thing you have is the one thing you throw out there constantly to people. Oh, I'm a big deal. I'm a YouTuber. I'm making all this money. That's your only hook to land a fish. That's the only big hook. And you can see how that's played out for you. You're, you're getting all kinds of bad fish. So they're getting my attention, but that's not. Well, yeah, no, I'm not settling for first person to get my attention. <laughs> I didn't remember what other thing does. I know. Unreal, right? Purple mermaid? Unreal. She sleeps in that bed with him. And then he has the fucking nerve to give me shit for a whole night while drunk for choosing peace or lying to him about peace or living with peace is always about peace. He's obsessed with peace. I don't think he really cares about Pete's. I think he cares about the money you spend on Pete's. That's just my opinion. I don't think he likes the idea that there's another man in the picture that you spend money on Chantal. But if it's your money, you can spend it any way you want. He's just a greedy bastard. And he wants all the money funneled over to him. He just doesn't like the idea of Pete's being right there and you supporting him. I think that's the only real problem he has with Pete's. Oh, God, there's too many Uncle Phil beds. They're in the same bed. She sleeps in the bed. Where is she going to sleep? With Ratman? With his fucking uh, ex-prison buddy? He is gross. He is so gross. So are you. Reality check, Chantal. Dee Dee sleeps in the bed with Natter. And she's not paying him thousands of dollars a month to be in his company. You pay all that money and where do you sleep? You sleep on the floor, sis. You don't even sleep in the bed next to him. That's all you need to know about where you stand with Natter. Anyways, whatever. I'm not going to get pretty. Fuck that shit. That's gonna kill me. I think it would. Sit in with his fucking. When we had the tequila, and he like was. I woke up to him screaming at the rat guy. Like, why did like I didn't feel fucking safe. So. I feel anyway. Sorry for having mass. Let me just float above the bed like a balloon. Sorry for having mass. Right? <laughs> Wait a second. Damn it, Amber says Chantal, I'm just waking up. Did you see the marks on Dee Dee's arms and all those missing fingernails? Now, I noticed the marks on Dee Dee's arms, but I did not know she was missing fingernails. That's alarming to me. I'm sorry I can't make you happy on my, like, on a fucking carbon level. Like, on a molecular level, I can't make you happy. I'm sorry. If he complains, I just cough at him. <laughs> and it got, it just, it was, it got worse and worse. Like, the eggshell walking. The having to think of how to word things so that I don't trigger him to be mad at me. Do you know what I mean? 
like just little things like should i ask him this or is he gonna think this is stupid it's like fucking like no why am i living this for what what am i getting out of this and it's like true it's like really like i'm getting fucked all i'm giving 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 and i'm not getting fuck all <clears throat> Here's another comment from Damn It Amber at Purple Mermaid. Yes, dude, she had marks and bruises all up and down her arm, and she was missing fingernails, and the window in the door was broken. Yeah, there's something funky going on over at Natter's house. When you it's don't know the story behind the broken fingernails and the bruises and the broken window. Something happened. Something happened with all that, and it, it don't sound good. All the way on the edge of the bed. I don't fucking know how she has any enjoyment for being there. Like, I mean, well, you found enjoyment. You'd stay over there for like a week at a time. So, what was your enjoyment? No idea. She must be in love with him. I don't fucking know. Or, I have no idea. The relationship is so weird. And he has a nerve to be like, I don't like it. The relationship with Pete is weird. Your relationship with Didi is a lot weirder. Let's, let's analyze this. This woman is just your friend, pays 200 in an Uber bus to come see you on the drop of a, a drop of a hat, like apparently is employed, but can, like, you know, our relationship, I know. Missing fingernails, what? Maybe he used that money. I don't know, Uncle Sosa. He's not getting another single fucking thing from me ever again. Liar. It's fine. I feel so much better, like, away that. I don't want to hear it. It's so disgusting. When I really think about it, a man, BB would have never called me a whore, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Oh, you call me a piece of shit, asshole, motherfucker. Yeah, well, you've been really mean to me. You know what I think? As far as this weird relationship, this toxic relationship that Chantal has going on with Natter, here's what I think. I think they're both too much alike. They're both controlling people. They want to control each other and to do that they manipulate each other it's a constant tug of war between chantal and natter you know chantal wants to bring natter to heal he wants to bring her to heal Sorry about that. Phone call happens. Let's move on. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Uh, so I think that they're too much alike, Chantal and Natter. And they're always, they're, it's, it's a power play between them. Like who can get the one up on the other? And I've said this before and I'll say it again. There are the possibility of that layer of she is a masochist. And she's got a humiliation, degradation fetish. And Natter is simply there to fulfill that for her. And hence, that might be the reason why her relationship with Pete never worked out. And her relationship with uh, Bibi didn't work out because they couldn't go the distance with her that way. I also feel like there is also the element of financial domination uh, from Natter to Chantal that's maybe at play also. I did a whole video on that if you guys want to go look at it. I mean, there might be extra layers of this story that nobody is aware of and nobody's thinking of uh, because we're not exposed to it all. We see the live streams, but we don't know everything behind the scenes as well. But regardless of what those layers are, it's pretty evident that Chantal and Natter are oil and water. They, they bring out the worst in each other. And Chantal, she refuses to lose this game she her, her ego just couldn't take it so in order to 
avoid admitting defeat. She has to keep playing the game. She has to keep playing. She has to. Uh, and by doing so, she's losing more and more. But this this whole thing with Natter, y'all, I'm sorry to say it's not going to end anytime soon. Uh, she needs someone or something to talk about on her channel. And what else does she have if not him? And so no, so matter, no matter what the heck they say about each other, I hate her, I hate him. Oh, we're going to stay away from each other. Doesn't make it true. It doesn't make it true. But we know Chantal, if she is seeing Natter, even though he may put a gag order on her and say, don't say my name, she'll give herself away. So all we have to do is just sit back and wait. I won't do that. Team May. And I didn't never knew about it. I ended up killing this one. Excuse me. Asleep. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut the react off here. There's really not a whole lot going on. I know a lot of uh, YouTubers were live streaming this and waiting for a rage, and it really didn't happen. So, but this is my react, and I think I did pretty good. I mean, three hours and 35 minutes, and I cut it down to an hour and 10 minutes. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> we'll stay here. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed my react video. I'm going to go ahead and put this on YouTube. And uh, hope you guys have a great afternoon. Take